What up, guys? Um, it's Shaw here, and I made a video recently about uh, um, this product right here. And I got a ton of questions and a ton of concerns that I understand. And people really want to know how do I how do I get ripped? How do I get buff? How do I put on sizes? Um, I mean, your the the exercise that you do, the reps that you do, and whatnot is important. Um, your your routine and how often you go and your persistence is important but the number one thing alright the number one thing that I have done research on and um, I have um, looked up and been told over and over and over again is your diet plan and how you eat and how uh, strict you are and how persistent you are with your diet plan your diet plan is pretty much what builds muscle alright I mean, going to the gym and working out might do it, but you need stuff to fuel your muscles. You need stuff that will allow you to grow. I mean, I could go to the gym and work my butt off every single day, and if I don't have a proper diet plan, I'm not going to see it, see any results because you need protein to feed your muscles. You need protein in order for your muscles to grow, in order to see results. Now... The problem with me is that when I get my diet straight for a month or two, um, I can really, really see results. Like, I'm I'm at a point where I am satisfied with my results. Where right now I've had a cold, I've been sick, and uh, I just had finals. And when I start slacking off and not really um, abiding by my diet plans, I start losing weight and... <laughs> Because I have a high metabolism, number one, and everything just goes away. It's like I've been in the gym since day one. Uh, well, I have muscle memory, so most people have muscle memory, so I can pick up real quick, and I'll be back where I started in a couple of weeks. But um, diet plan is is what you need to get in order. So how does how does like a typical diet plan work? Well, you wake up in the morning, um, you want to have protein, whether it's eggs. Whether it's a shake, um, if you want to replace uh, breakfast and just take a shake. But make sure that the breakfast that you take consists of protein. And then afterwards, you want to take a shake. All right? And then after that, you want to have lunch. And then after lunch, like an hour, hour and a half, two hours after lunch, you want to hit the gym. After gym, you want to take protein again. And then uh, after that, you go right into dinner, and then that's the, that. That'll be it. And then uh, go to sleep. Um, if you want to really, really execute it and go above and beyond, then you would snack along the way. Um, you could snack along the way. You could add an extra meal. So you go breakfast, lunch, workout, shake, and then another meal. Before dinner and then dinner, so you have you'll have six meals, but you want to have five five essential meals in a day, and then um, the two times that you do take protein and you do take a shake, um, just count those towards two meals. So you want to make sure to have breakfast, and then after breakfast you want to make sure to have a shake, and then after the shake you want to have lunch, and then after lunch you want to go work out, and then after the workout you have another shake, and then after that um, go straight into dinner. And um, this has worked for me, all right? So you could disagree with my method. You can have your own method and whatnot. But this is what has been working for me. And you want to make sure that you have a healthy and a balanced diet. You want to cut out sugar. Um, you want to cut out junk food. And um, just go for lean, a lean protein diet. And uh, by lunch, I don't mean that you have like a half a sandwich. Um, have to a point like eat lunch to a point where you can't eat anymore and you're full and you're about to throw up and once you get to that point you want to eat a little bit more and um, you want to make sure that you have a uh, good lunch and a good breakfast and the more you eat the more protein you take in uh, the better results you'll see you want to spend between a half an hour to an hour at the gym um, you could even go to, I wouldn't recommend more than hour 20, you don't want to wear yourself out. So, hour 20 will be max, and that's why taking, um, I don't know, 
I wouldn't recommend taking breaks. So you should really be in the gym for an hour. And um, you want to take a pre-workout as well. Um, because what pre-workouts do is they really give you that energy to go and max your reps and um, have the energy to work out and whatnot. So if you don't have energy to work out, you want to take a pre-workout as well. Um, but that's what a, that's what your diet plan should consist of. Um, you should take in as much protein as you possibly can and whatnot. Um, otherwise, the money you're spending on supplements and the money you're spending is just going to waste because your body's not uh, getting the protein it needs in order to build muscle. Um, I started out being 90 pounds. Now I'm up to 120. Um, I've gained 30 pounds ever since I started hitting the gym. And my goal is 155. <laughs> so another 35 pounds, which, is, which I could get there in a couple of years. Um, it's not impossible. Nothing impossible. So, again, diet plan. That should be your key, key, um, way of building protein. Uh, a good workout is essential. Um, you could really go and check out what a good workout consists of and whatnot. Um, what I do is I do... Um, well, I'll make another video on my routine and why I do it. Um, there's going to be a part two to this on how I work out and what my routine is. Alright, take care guys. Peace.